Hi, Adrian. So I wanted to put a quick video together just to um, kind of verbalize some of my ideas and show you what I was thinking as we move forward on your mural. Uh, first, I included the reference board, which I just updated a little bit to include the background image that you had sent me last year and then some of the photography that I took when I was at your house that I was using to reference like this uh, vase. So, come to the next page. So this is my uh, line drawing kind of uh, a sketch idea for the placement of the tree with the flowers and the additional animals that we talked about. As you see, I have the um, floral element from the vase and like the leaves and things. I realized adding a snake, um, particularly having something so we could put some height into the piece since you have such uh, high ceilings, it would make sense to have some kind of tree or branch that the snake was sitting on. So I incorporated that element and then the crane to the side to kind of have something to fill in this space here. And then since the wall is divided, you know, here would be the corner where this line is, I thought it would make sense to have another creature of some sort on this other wall. So I like the idea of a little bird and all of these are of the same. Um, I was using like uh, Japanese reference for the trees, flowers and um, bird and crane, things like that. So everything kind of has a similar um, genre. The other uh, step to this would be starting to figure out the value and just getting a better sense of uh, how things will sit with being light and dark in the space. And I know that we talked about incorporating another element into the background. So I will do that as well once everything is decided as far as the placement of things. So I started to kind of mock up some ideas. Here is an example with like a um, kind of simple geometric Japanese design, something like this could be done. My other thought was using the floral elements or the leaf or uh, flower petals, kind of replicating those out um, across the area too. So I think that's something we can play with some ideas once we have the general um, layout figured out and defined. The next step is gonna be um, basically going in and getting the details. So I'm going to utilize like a watercolor brush and a charcoal brush and show you a couple different stylistic ideas once uh, we confirm that the placement of everything and style of everything is good moving forward. The other element I included was just like a mock-up, which is, um, you know, not an exact replica, but just like a Photoshop place-in of what this would look, look like from um, one of the angles. You can just kind of see for size reference how this looks. Now I know you're thinking we would not have something immediately in front of this space here, um, that the bar space or tables will be um, away from the wall a little bit. So I think this uh, spacing will work, but we could potentially move this up as well. Um, so anyway, we'll move on from there, next step. But I uh, wanted to show you where I'm at and we'll uh, go from there moving forward. Thank you.